So here is a quick demo of uh, FPUVM with um, Aldec at Vera Pro. And the intention is to show you, uh, starting from a design, optical design, to go to a UVM can be done in a matter of minutes. And that's thanks to the automation that's already built. And it's all free open source uh, available to you. Now, the design is Altera on-chip flash AVM and CSR controller, something that's realistic uh, on a uh, design that most likely you are all dealing with. So the module name is AVL flash and there's a clock on a reset. And these are the three things that we would need to build a test bench, right? Of course, you need all the ports. So this is avalanche ports. And given the ports are already declared in the RTL, there is no reason for end users to go and code them as either your system VDAG interface, mod ports, clocking block, your, you know, all that stuff. That's exactly what we're going to automate for you, right? So to do that, we have integrated what is called the FPUVM app. Now on the bottom left corner, you can see the small icon there that says FPGA UVM, and it says generates FPUVM test for a given test. Now that's exactly what we're going to do. To begin with, we're going to compile the design. That's the first step. So we have this. So this is my design. I'm going to compile it, and you see that the compilation is through. And we're going to say, okay, let's go and initialize the simulation for this. So we said, okay, double click on the CVL flash and it generates uh, our um, elaboration database and it says it's not ready. Now, if you click on this um, FPGA UVM, it's going to ask you a couple of questions and then get done with it. Right, so it just says, okay, now enter top module, that's that name. And we know now it's AVL underscore flash. Make sure it's the correct module that you wanted. And it says the clock signal name. And this is the one that's going to use in your clocking block. So uh, go ahead and feed that clock. And then it says the reset signal name and it's active load reset. This assumption under the hood. So we're going to say reset underscore and. And that's it. It goes and says now, thanks for using this. And here is our website for it. It's a simple blogger website. And you see the file um, interface.sv as well as the UVM test as well as the top. Again, a quick note. We are at this stage just giving you a very simple demo of what is the bare minimum UVM code that is needed. So it doesn't have all your bells and whistles of UVM just yet. But we believe you can start here and start building it from here onwards. Now, what it probably doesn't tell you yet is it also generates a do file for Riviera Pro. Um, as you know, most of you have been using Riviera Pro with the do files. I'm going to show you that that is actually generated it and we're going to use that this right so let's go and see if we can get that uh, fpvm run Rivera, and that's just a do file i say it's okay you live work and then the log and then it's going to do a simulation all of this is already generated for you we're just going to execute this macro uh, you know that in Rivera pro you can have an execute macro icon you go and do that and it basically goes and compiles you see that the e log dollar uvm comp is needed to compile uvm designs uh, within Revira Pro, and that's again automated for you. It's going to say, okay, now let's bring up the UVM, and uh, it's going to uh, use the FP UVM package that I talked about, as well as, of course, it has a macro file, so we just included it, and it goes and says, now let me just uh, uh, AVL flash FP UVM top.sv, use the top level uh, code that got generated. So let's take a quick look at that code while the simulation is just coming up. Right. So we're going to say, okay, now let's look at the UVM test or the top. Right? So now, meanwhile, the simulation has already started. And this is the module that got generated. Uh, it, it, it has the interface, it has the test, and it has this, and the clock. And it also has the interface instantiation and the dot, the DUT instantiation. Again, this is all auto-generated code, and it's very nicely indented and commented for us. And it's already right, ready to go. And you see that. Uh, it's already using the FPUVM and shows you this. And what it basically has done is it has put in this uh, interface file. So let's take a quick look at this interface file uh, to see uh, what got generated for us. Um, so the interface is over here. AVL flash interface is the module name underscore the interface, and it's automatically generated again. And it tells you that, okay, these are the logics. And it also takes care of your size of your um, signals. For example, the right data is 32-bit 
uh, okay it just got generated there so it just jumped to this so let me just go back to the interface file for a minute uh, and then we'll come back and take a look at this okay so and it also generates your clocking block the driver clocking block which basically has this direction of these signals reversed from that of your duct because whatever is it ut input will be driven by our test pitch so that's all now done here and as a monitor clocking block is also available it also has an init signals routine so that you could call it right after reset for example and again all of that call is now done and you see nicely the waveform is up and running and in this waveform what i really wanted to kind of acknowledge is the clock is already set up the reset is since i mentioned active low reset it says it's going to be low for n number of clocks and it's going to be high afterwards and you see that all the other things are actually initialized the inputs and the, the DUT outputs are also coming up with certain values. So all of this is done with a click of a button as you saw and live as we speak. And just to wrap up the whole thing, I'll just show you the test really quickly. So this is the test that basically extends from your um, UVM based test. And in this case, FE UVM based test as well. And then this is the uh, reset. And this is your main rookie. I hope this was interesting and I hope you could start using the FPUVM app and do give us the feedback. You have the contacts out there. I'd love to hear from you how you want to use this app and get productive. Thank you very much.